हेलो एवरीवन एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू ए कंप्लीट प्लेसमेंट सॉल्यूशन दिस इज प्रतीक श्रीवास्तव यू आर फाउंडर ऑफ ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू फ्रेंड्स टीसीएस फर्स्ट शिफ्ट एंड सेकंड शिफ्ट एग्जाम ऑन फिफ्टींथ ऑफ मार्च इज डन एंड द क्वेश्चन वॉज इजी टू मोडरेट एंड स्टूडेंट हैव डन वेरी वेल and most of the questions were directly asked from the tcs nqt crash course and our youtube videos so from youtube videos whatever live session we had done and from the crash course there were direct questions which was asked in the examination anyway so in this video we are going to do the analysis so what were the coding question asked what were the aptitude question asked these are memory based questions so whatever a student could remember so they have told okay but before that i will start with you know so what are the exam rules friends please do like the video and subscribe to the channel we are really putting lot of effort even between holi and all we are finding out time preparing the content and we are doing everything for you now so friends the first thing is there is no section switching only question switching is there which you are already aware you cannot switch between the sections tcs exam will be happening at center tcs ion center there is no negative marking so you solve as many question as possible and after that you have to mark the remaining question any number of rough paper you will be getting on screen calculator is there no question wise timer is there section wise timer that means aptitude 25 question 20 minutes sorry 20 questions and 25 minutes they will take data based questions are more this time so shift 2 so friends in shift 2 no verbal ability was tougher than shift 1 this is what we discussed with the student and here here in shift 2 two, today okay shift 2 two today so uh, there were tta based questions in verbal abilities okay so that is one of the difference between shift 1 and shift 2 if you submit one coding question then you can go to second coding question and once you move to second coding question then you cannot touch first coding question sectional cut off and overall cut off both is there we will be also talking about your cut off so what might be the cut off for shift 2 friends shift 2 started at 2 pm okay 2 pm to uh you know 2 pm it was started and 1 pm you have to be at the center okay 1 pm you have to be at the center one hour you have to keep in your hand so that if some details or if something you do not have it then you can get it from the get the affidavit or get the print out or something you can do so one original aadhar card or dl whatever you have you had to take admit card admit card and photo should be pasted on that so this is what was a required thing clear okay now friends next thing is next we will discuss about the coding question first okay so there were two coding question which was asked in the second shift the first coding question was so find the unique element in the array there will be only one unique elements in the array uh, and the array x was 5 3 2 3 2 output is equals to 5 so there was a similar first question will be always easy first question will be always easy there was some compiler issue which many of the students were facing nobody were able to compile the complete code and uh, nobody was actually able to pass all the test cases okay so find the unique elements in the array there will be only one unique element in the array x 5 3 2 3 2 output is equals to 5 okay so this was one of the question and friends i would like to write you know so aptitude reasoning verbal ability and then advance okay so please write how many questions you have done like suppose here 15 here 12 here 10 i'm just giving an example and here 10 okay so please write in the comment section so that will give you a confidence okay so you have done well in the exam or not and what might be the expected cut off so how many you have done okay so how many you have done please write in the comment section so 15 so you write like see here you write like 14 okay 14 Thirteen and ten. So write like this, okay? So please write like this in the comment section, and based on that, we will uh, decide. So what will be your cutoff, and also you will come to know. So how was your exam? Second question is greedy one. So greedy algorithm. Second question is greedy one. Required skills A B C, uh, A B C D. Number of candidate is equal to four. A skill dot candidate is this. 
need to form a team containing all the skills and required skill candidates okay is the skill of ith person i need to make sure my okay need to make sure my team consists minimum number of people and i need all the required skills answer for above example is 0 to first person contains skills a b and third person contains skill c d coding i am not very good at okay uh, so i will not comment anything about that it was easy it was tough or it was you know what level but greedy algorithm itself is little challenging and inside our tcs crash course we have already done greedy algorithm dynamic programming everything is done here nothing we have left it okay so all the concept everything we have done it clear so this was from the coding and if we we'll talk about aptitude and reasoning so see major questions were there from percentage and profit and loss see these were the topics which were you know in the in the first shift and second shift these are the topic which has dominated even time display distance profit loss okay simple and compound interest and then uh, you know uh, mensuration was there average was there ratio proportion investment and profit second shift also there was questions were there so these were the topic which has dominated in the tcs nqt exam this time okay so in in uh, if you go to the course right tcs nqt crash course see you understand that you know importance only when you write the exam so in the live classes in this live classes mock test if you'll go through so ratio and proportion investment one there is one separate video we have done okay so investment so how many at you know years you need to invest what will be the profit ratio so all those things has been discussed in this crash course and that is the reason you see the students are performing well okay so uh, and the questions and they are telling that sir the questions are directly from the questions were directly from the crash course now next so next is friends reasoning so dias question floor based see continuous three four classes we have given on puzzles okay dias question dias question study also in the live session i took coding decoding also i have taken lot of questions number series syllogism blood relation da, you know direction so this there were some you know people who were done in the first shift these many questions were done but in the second shift they were not able to do this many questions okay now friends whatever questions i am going to solve on aptitude now you will definitely feel that sir is solving only simple question see it's not about sir is solving simple question whatever i was able to get from the student because a student can remember data for the simple question only if the question is lengthy three four five lines how somebody will remember the question if you have any question please comment that and definitely i will solve and i will make a video on it but whatever questions i have got till now that is what i am going to solve if a person earns a total salary so total salary means nothing but his income so his income is 7450 and he is saving he is saving 32 percent then you need to tell what is his expenditure okay now friends it is very clear if you earn 100 rupees okay and if you spend 70 rupees then what will be your saving so your saving will be nothing but 30 rupees your saving will be nothing but 30 rupees clear so here income is given and saving is 32 percent of the income so 7450 and if you calculate 30 percent so it will be 4 aja and 4 um you know you can put 25 times 5 5 times and 5 we can divide 5 7 14 times will be 70 and 5 9 ja okay and then 5 2 ja will be 10 1 0 will go off so 2 9 ja 18 okay 2 9 ja 18 5 2 is the correct right 1 0 and 1 0 cancel so 2 9 ja 18 2 98 2 98 into 8 okay so 8 into 8 is 64 4 6 8 9 ja 72 plus 6 is 78 and 8 2 ja 16 2 3 8 4 okay so i will just verify anyway calculator is there in your exam so please use the calculator don't try to solve it by your this thing so 7450 into 32 percentage is equals to 2384 and now if you have to calculate expenditure so income 7450 minus your saving saving is 2384 so if you'll subtract minus 70 sorry 750 seven are bhai, seven four five zero so it will be five zero six six 
so for this particular question the answer was 5066 it was an easy problem i am only telling it was a very easy problem okay and friends one thing which i was telling you uh, from long time that advanced aptitude will be always easier than advanced aptitude will be always easier than your normal aptitude okay now a and b started a business so for that you know already i have told you friends so your in you know income into time sorry uh, your investment into time ratio investment into time ratio will be nothing but your profit ratio okay will be your profit ratio anyway now what they are telling a and b started a business okay so a invested 10000 and for the same time 12 months okay after one year and b also invested so they started the business to, a and b started a business with investment okay so they have started the business at the same time and for the same year okay now so we are basically getting the profit ratio so this is nothing but two times and this and this cancel so their profit ratio is nothing but their profit ratio is nothing but one is to two now in the question it has been told 10 percent of the profit is given to a for handling the organizational structure so total profit is what 3160 total profit is 3160 10 is given to a so 10% you just remove it off so it will become 3160 minus 316 or you would have directly calculated 90% 10 minus 6 is 4 5 minus 1 is 4 and uh, 11 minus 3 is 8 and 2 2844 so 316 rupees was given to a for the for the organizational structure and now the remaining profit is divided between a and b so now 2844 is divided between a and b they are asking b share so b is so similar question was there into 2 divided by 3 so in front of b it is 2 and divided by total uh, that means total 3 part is there out of that b is 2 part now 3 9 are 27 3 4 are 12 and 3 8 are 24 so 2 8 are 16 i'm um, 48 into 2 is 96 and 1896 so 1896 b share was 1896 so b share was 1896 and if they will ask about a share without this organizational structure then just subtract from that okay so i hope you are getting uh you know the i mean level of the question okay so this was the level of the question which was asked from uh you know this particular topic clear okay now uh just a minute now next is if you'll see ram and siam start a journey towards the same distance so ram and siam okay ram and siam is going to cover a distance d okay ram travels at a speed of 15 km per hour while siam travels at 14 km per hour so a speed of ram is 15 km per hour see the question also cannot be completely correct based on the data i have framed the question just for your understanding okay so ram speed is 15 km per hour siam speed is 14 km per hour when ram reaches the destination siam is still 42 minutes away from reaching it find the total distance now friends here we could see so time taken by siam and time taken by ram the difference is nothing but 42 minutes so as the speed is given in kilometer per hour so here what we will have to do we will have to convert this time into hours so 42 by 60 distance by siam so siam speed is 42 km uh, 14 km per hour and ram speed is 15 km per hour this is what you have to solve so here it will be 15 into 14 and 14 14 so 15 d minus 14 d will be equal to will be equal to 42 by 60 okay see this question can be also framed in such a way so if he goes with a speed of 15 km per hour he reaches i uh, you know on time or if he goes with a speed of 14 km per hour he reaches 42 minutes late so also this way you can form it so d divided by 15 into 14 so 7 6 uh, 6 7 ja, 6 7 ja and 6 10 ja, okay so now here 5 2 ja and 5 3 ja and 2 7 ja. so d will be equal to 7 into 3 into 7 so 21 into 7 will be nothing but 7 1 just 7 7 2 is a 4 so 147 kilometer so 147 kilometer will be the correct answer for this particular problem there was a next question so we need to find the minimum value of the expression so f of x is equals to 3 plus here 3x plus 2 
so now they are asking so friends what will be the minimum value of this function so minimum value when this is equals to 0 when this is equals to 0 will be your minimum value and this will be equal to 0 when that is not required okay but I will tell you so this will be 0 when the value of x is minus 2 by 3 sir why it cannot be negative value so if it is minus 2 then it will be 3 minus 2 is equals to 1 that will be minus that will be 1 that will be the minimum value but sir you are telling it will be 0 why sir because this mod will never give you the minimum value of the mod can be 0 it will never give you a negative value okay so that was the concept so basically x is equals to minus 2 by 3 this function will be having the minimum value that is nothing but 3 okay so 3 will be the minimum value for this expression so that is what I could arrange these questions I could arrange from the student and this is what I have solved friends I as soon as I will be getting the question I will be arranging or I will be solving it for you all okay now if we'll talk about the cutoff then I will also tell you a bit about it okay a bit about the cutoff I will tell you see the questions were not very tough so around 10 questions will be cut off in your aptitude this is expected cut off this is not the cut off released by TCS and all and anyway there will be normalization so they will see so what is normalization so what is the maximum score maximum uh, you know score by a candidate based on that if suppose if a candidate is scoring 16 marks then 50% of this will become only 8 marks so it will be always a normalized marks so do not have to worry but if you ask me the cut off will be like this okay and verbal ability let's see second uh, you know second shift was tough so around 10 questions will be your cutoff in verbal ability advanced aptitude was easy in second half also so let's say seven to eight question and if you do one coding question okay and if you do two co one coding question for digital and uh, if you do both the coding question then you will be called for prime interview but again you need to see friends many of the people were having the compiler issue and as I said normalization will take place so if suppose there were all together there was 14 coding question and maximum is 12 okay and maximum is student is getting 12 then if you have you know past 8 to 9 test cases also then also you will be called for the prime interview okay so you do not have to worry thank you take care all the very very best okay and i will you will start preparing for the interview and it's my responsibility to make the videos more and more videos for you thank you take care all the very very best once again happy holy now you please enjoy your days and prepare for the next examination chalo toko tali